what's happening y'all rich sosa coming back at you with another video today and before we get started i gotta say thank god king jesus for another day and another opportunity comment down tg for thank god and where you're tuning in from and i'll definitely be sure to get back to you with a response so if you clicked on today's video as you can see from the looks of the thumbnail title and screen man I got a very special slasher build and this one's going to be coming out of a big man position the power forward so the build is actually the 34th build that we've created together on this channel i'm on the run to find every single archetype in nba 2k25 and the build will come out to the slashing stretch four now what's really special about this build is it does remind me of nba champion Pascal Siakam Spicy P. Now, when it comes towards the actual animations, we get the pro contact dunks, you get the upgraded layup styles, upgraded steady dunk packages, some of the upgraded passing styles with, you know, um, being able to get the pro dribble animations is going to make a huge difference on this build because this is a really well rounded archetype that you can use right now in season one in any game mode. Now, as far as when it comes towards the actual attributes, we can get a 99 plus when it comes towards that driving dunk, the steal, the defense defensive rebounding and also the strength so everything plays a huge factor with today's build and i just want to be sure that i can get this one to y'all today so i want to say thank every single one of y'all for your support i see y'all in the comments going crazy and i just want you to know that none of this would be possible without jesus christ and y'all the rich family so if it's your first time coming bro be sure to hit that sub button if you know smash that like button Turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family. Now from here, man, let's go ahead and get to the breakdown of the 34th build today. So the first thing that we're doing today is putting this build under the power forward. Once we get into that height, let's drop it a few ticks down to 6'7", 246 when it comes towards our weight. And then for that wingspan today, I'm going to put this to 7'2". Now, this is going to be perfect to move forward. And, you know, the first area that's going to be the most important for every single build is going to be the physicals. Now, I'll be sure to get into the breakdown of the badges once we get this build maxed out completely to 99 overall. Now, when it comes towards the speed today, I'm going to put this all the way up to an 85. And already, we're faster than a lot of bigs and guards. Now, getting into that agility, let's go with a 77. 84 once it comes towards that strength today, so you're going to be able to be a bully down low as well. And then as far as when it comes towards that vertical, move this all the way up to a 75 now. These numbers are pretty balanced to move forward. And like I said, man, when it comes towards the badges, especially when it comes towards the animations and takeovers, every single one of these attributes and numbers is very important and specific. So first, let's go ahead and start when it comes towards that finishing. When it comes towards that close shot, I'm going to put this up to a 78. As we get into that driving layup, I'm going to go with a 70. Moving into that driving dunk, you want to make sure that you put this all the way up to an 87. And once we adjust the vertical, as we can see, we are able to unlock those pro contact dunks now getting into the standing dunk i'm gonna put this all the way up to an 81 and then as far as when it comes towards that post control i'm gonna put this up to a 77 and this is what we're gonna be looking like when it comes towards the actual finishing i'm happy that we get most of the upgraded layup styles the pro contact dunks you also were able to get most of the upgraded standing dunk packages and you know you are part post score with this kind of rating so very special build when it comes towards the finishing now once we go ahead and get into that mid-range shot I'm going to put this all the way up to a 71. Now, as we get into that three-pointer today, I'm going to go with an 80. And then pretty much when it comes towards this free throw, let's go with a 77. That's going to allow you to take this build into any five setting. And then on top of that, we get a good amount of the jump shot releases and bases unlocked. Now, moving more down the line, when it comes towards that pass accuracy, I'm going to put this up to a 65. Moving more when it comes towards that ball handle, let's go with the 81. And this right here, actually, we do get some of those upgraded passing styles some of those pro dribble animations and then as far as for that speed with ball today put this up to a 75 now i'll get into the breakdown of the badges cat breakers takeovers everything once we get this build maxed out now as far as when it comes towards that interior defense let's put this all the way up to an 82 73 when it comes towards our perimeter and i've read a lot and seen that people are going with a rating even of a 70 for the perimeter defense and have a lot of success with this so 73 is not bad but as far as when it comes towards the steal we get an 85 which makes it even better so when it comes towards the block today make sure you go all the way up to a 78 and then as far as when it comes towards that defensive rebound 
put this all the way up to a 92 and then for the actual offensive side i'm gonna go up to a 65 now this is what we should be looking like once you get this build maxed out completely you have everything from the contact dunks to pro dribble animations you're able to pass and move the ball around still be a finisher when it comes towards being you know a layup guru and on top of that bro with being an all-around teammate on that defensive side i think this build is complete with that defensive rebound so i think it's going to be a great rebounder all around a great interior presence and one of my favorite builds that i personally made this year bro now once we go ahead and look at these badges starting out with the hall of fame we do get strong handle which personally has become one of my favorites when it comes towards being a playmaker for any type of big man or anybody that can really acquire this badge so now when it comes towards these gold badges we get rebound chaser you're also able to get interceptor which is key now we get aerial wizard for the finishing box out beast for that defensive end with slippery off ball so Really, I think we're pretty much jam-packed with all of these badges. You have everything that can potentially boost your game to the next level. And something that I think everybody should really be excited about is going to be the Tier 1 and Tier 2 badge upgrades. So, let's go ahead and dive into the silver badges. We get Rise Up. You also get Post Up Poet, Post Powerhouse with Pogo Stick. Now we get Post Fade Phenom, Post Lockdown, Off Ball Pass. We get Movable Enforcer, Float Game. High Fly Denier, we also get Brick Wall here, man. And then on top of that, we get Lightning Launch with Set Shot Specialist, Unpluckable, you get Posterizer on this build, Handles for Days, and also Glove, bro. So, using those tier upgrades is definitely useful towards some of these badges, man. And I would really consider it towards the Silvers. Now, when it comes towards the Bronze to wrap everything up, we get Shifty Shooter, you also get Pick Dodger, Ankle Assassin with Challenger, we get Deadeye. From there, you get Physical Finisher. Now, on the other side, we get Paint Prodigy with Dimer, Break Starter, and then also Paint Patroller. So, this build has you covered easily from the offense all the way down to the defense. Not only can you be an elite defender, but you're able to put the pressure on that defensive side to put up a lot of points, man. And realistically, bro, with this ball handle rating, I think you can be one of the better ball handlers on your team at any given moment. So, when it comes towards the actual takeovers, this is going to make a huge difference. So we get about 10 of them, bro. So we get above the rim that gives you a plus 15 put towards that dropping dunk. So having a 100 dropping dunk on this build would be absolutely insane, bro, especially with poster machine takeover. Now, we also do get Dr. Duncanstein. From there, we get Glass Gunner, one of my favorite takeovers to use for any build that can get it man the plus eight put towards that three pointer and rebounding three different attributes very special now horse i really like this one as well being able to get see the future takeover ability very special here as well now we get slice with spot up shooter the claw having that plus 15 put towards the actual steel man does give you a 100 steel rating on this build just something to think about now we get the commander swiper splash tower also physicality great wall has probably grown to be one of my favorite takeovers in the game bro having a plus 15 put towards your strength will give us a 99 and that's giving me a lot of success when it comes towards stopping post scores man especially paint masters in general now we also get driver with board b saying in general man you can go with any of these takeovers but the ones that i would highly recommend working out with is going to be great wall glass gunner or even you can go with above the rim and the claw or even horse bro all of these are really great options that you can go with now let's just go ahead and say you're going to use your cap breakers and you've already unlocked them one area that i would consider throwing them towards would be that dropping duck now i know right now potentially down the road we will be able to go from silver to gold posterizer now if you wanted to get the best layup styles and add 10 cat breakers towards the finishing that's another great option now if you were to add it towards the bow handle or even if it comes towards the playmaking in general i think that's another great option anywhere towards the defensive end i think that would work out great as well however feel free to make any type of changes and adjustments to your own liking i think this is one of my favorite builds that i put together for y'all and i want to know your thoughts and opinions man is there anything that you potentially would do to change or make this slasher a little bit better out of the center position what i want to do man is say thank you so much for supporting if you made it to the very end let's go ahead and move forward so as you can see we do get that sean marion comparison we also get pascal sayakum with scotty barnes and together coming up at about the 34th position and build we've created together we get the rare and unique slashing stretch four bro so i think it's very special because this is going to be a big man that can run the center 
or even the four position man now i like the fact that it's balanced especially being able to you know do everything from the offensive perspective but still able to carry the weight and load on the defensive end man this is a very versatile big man that you can use right now and it has a whole lot of potential to be a season one made a build so i just want to say thank every single one of y'all for your support Thank the Lord above King Jesus for another day and another opportunity, man. We are building the most positive 2K community on YouTube right here, man. So I just want to say shout out to y'all, the rich family. I hope y'all enjoyed this build, bro. I got the 35th build dropping tomorrow for y'all. And if you want to check out any previous builds, man, I'll be sure to put a little pop-up card above here. But I just want to say thank y'all so much for the support. The comments, I see y'all going crazy. And y'all do not go unnoticed. I want you to know that I acknowledge you. And, you know, I'm going to continue to drop these videos and builds for y'all every single day. So, if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you know. Smash that like button. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. And last, but definitely not least. With all that being said, though, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.